What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve rational equations using the least common denominator, right? The LCD. So here we have 5 over x plus 7 over 4 is equal to negative 9 over x, right? So the first thing you want to do is just figure out what the LCD is. And to do that, all you have to do is multiply all your different denominators together, okay? So why do I say different denominators? Well, because as you can see, here we have two of the same denominator, right? We have an x and an x. So we don't want to use that more than once, okay? So here, the LCD is going to be equal to, again, our denominator here is an x times our other denominator here, which is a 4. And then here we have an x again. So since we already have it in our LCD, we're not going to write it again. Okay, so our LCD is simply x times 4, or we could write that as 4x, right? So all we have to do is multiply our entire equation by the LCD, so 4x in this case. All right, so we're going to multiply this whole side by 4x and this whole side by 4x. Okay, so let's start with this side over here. So 4x times 5 over x, right? So we're going to have 4x times 5 over x. So here you can see that the x on top and the bottom cancel out. So then all we're left with is 4 times 5 on the top, which is equal to 20, right? And next we have 4x times 7 over 4, right? So 4x times 7 over 4. Here you can see that the 4 on top and the bottom cancel out. So on top we're just left with x times 7 or just 7x, right? And we're adding these together, right? So plus 7x. And then that's going to be equal to uh, this guy over here. So over here, you can see that the x on the top and the bottom cancel out. So then on top, we're just left with 4 times 9, and it's negative, right? So that's equal to negative 36, all right? So then here, we're just trying to solve for x. So let's get rid of this 20 by subtracting 20 from both sides. Those cancel out. So we're just left with 7x is equal to negative 56. All right, so then here we can see that x is simply equal to negative 8. Boom. All right, here's the next one. So we have 1 minus 8 over x minus 5 is equal to 3 over x. So again, the first thing you want to do is just find the LCD, right? So in order to do that, just multiply all your different denominators together. So here we have an x minus 5, and here we have an x, right? So our LCD is simply x times x minus 5. All right, so we're going to multiply this by our entire equation. So we're going to multiply it over here. So uh, let's see, x times x minus 5. And we're going to multiply this whole side by x times x minus 5. Okay, so first of all, x times x minus 5 times 1 is just equal to this, right? So x times x minus 5. And that's minus, then again, this multiplied times this fraction right here. You can see we have an x minus 5 on the top and on the bottom, so those cancel out. So we're just left with x times 8, or in other words, 8x. So we have 8x right there. And that's equal to this guy over here. So here you can see that we have an x on the top and the bottom. Uh, so we're just left with 3 times x minus 5, right? So 3 times x minus 5, okay? So now let's multiply everything together. So first of all, x times x is x squared. So here we have x squared minus 5x. And then that's minus 8x is equal to 3x minus 15. Okay, one thing we can do real quick is combine these terms right here. So this is going to be x squared minus 13x is equal to 3x minus 15. Now we can combine all the terms. Let's move them all to the left side. So let's say minus 3x and plus 15. So minus 3x and plus 15. Those just cancel out, right? So then we're left with x squared minus 16x plus 15 is equal to 0. Okay, now we need to factor this guy. So x squared is just x and x, and then two numbers that multiply to positive 15 but have a difference of negative 16 would be minus 1 and minus 15. And again, this is equal to 0, right? 
So we have our two factors here, just set each of them equal to zero. So for this factor, x minus one, you can see that x is equal to positive one and x is equal to positive 15. All right, so here are our two answers. Now, when you get two or more answers, you always wanna check for extraneous solutions. So we're just gonna plug both of these back into the original equation and make sure they both work. So the original equation was just one minus eight over x minus five is equal to three over x. So let's plug in one first. So here we're gonna get one minus eight over, uh, let's see if we plug a one in there, one minus five is negative four. So we get a negative four here, and that's equal to uh, three over one, which is just equal to three, right? Now eight over negative four, that's equal to negative two, right? So we have one minus negative two, is equal to three. So one minus negative two, that's the same thing as one plus two, which is equal to three, okay? So this solution, the first one, x is equal to one, is a true solution, right? Now let's check 15. So we're gonna have, again, one minus eight over, this time it's gonna be 15 minus five, is equal to three over 15, all right? So then we get one minus, 8 over 10 is equal to 3 over 15, which we can reduce down to 1 over 5, right? Now here, we can change the 1 into a fraction, so it's maybe a little easier to subtract. So we just need the same denominator, so we could write that as 10 over 10 minus 8 over 10 is equal to 1 over 5, right? So 10 over 10 minus 8 over 10, that's equal to 2 over 10, and that's equal to 1 over 5 if we reduce it, right? So then here we get 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 5, right? So that means our second solution, x is equal to 15, is also a true solution, right? So no extraneous solutions here. All right, here's the last one. So we have 6 over x minus 3 is equal to 8x squared over x squared minus 9 minus 4x over x plus 3. Okay, so again, the first thing we wanna do is just find the LCD, right? And again, to do that, we just need to multiply all the different denominators together. But first, you might see that this looks kind of familiar, right? X squared minus nine. So this is a difference of squares. So if you factor this out, this is the exact same thing as X plus three times X minus three, okay? So now that you know that, now let's find the LCD. So the LCD in this case is gonna be equal to, let's see, we have an X minus three here, and we have an X minus three here, so we're not gonna write it again, but we do have an X plus three, right? So X plus three, and then we have another X plus three here, so again, we're not gonna write it again, right? So this is the LCD in this case. So again, we're gonna multiply this whole side and this whole side by the LCD, and I'm gonna Make a little room here so it's not too confusing. And you know what, let's just bring that over here. So then the LCD is right there and on this side over two. So X minus three times X plus three. Okay, so it, first of all, if we multiply this by the first fraction right here, you can see we have an X minus three on the top and the bottom, so those cancel out. So we're just left with X plus three on top times six, right? So six times X plus three, and that's equal to this guy over here, so uh, we have an x plus three and an x minus three on this side, right? So that cancels out with the x plus three and x minus three up here. So we're just left with x eight x squared on top. And then that's minus uh, this one over here. So x plus three on the top and the bottom. So we're just left with four x times x minus three, okay? So now let's multiply everything together to simplify it. So we're gonna have six X plus 18 is equal to eight X squared minus four X squared plus 12 X. Okay, uh, now let's combine some stuff. So eight X squared minus four X squared, that's equal to four X squared, right? So we have six X plus 18 is equal to four X squared plus 12 X. Now let's get everything to one side so we can build our quadratic again. So let's subtract 6x and subtract 18, right? Subtract 6x and subtract 18, so we get a zero. And that's equal to 4x squared plus 
6x minus 18. Okay, now we can uh, simplify this a little bit, right? So uh, let's factor out a 2 from each of these so it can reduce it. So we're going to get that 0 is equal to 2, and then that's going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. Okay, it looks like this is as simple as we can get it, so now we can try and factor this, right? So we're going to have that this is uh, 0 is equal to 2 times, and then uh, this 2x squared we can break up into 2x and x. Okay, and then we need two numbers, and they multiply to negative 9. And again, you're going to have to do a little guess and check, but you'll get that this is minus 3 and plus 3. Okay, cool. So we have our two factors right here. Just set them each equal to 0. So we get 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Right? So then over here, we get, uh, let's see, 2x is equal to positive 3. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. So we get that x is equal to 3 halves. Right? And then over here, we can see that x is simply equal to negative 3. Okay, so here are our two answers. And again, you want to check for extraneous solutions, but this time I'm just going to give you the answer. So this one, x is equal to 3 halves, that's a true solution. And this one, x is equal to negative 3, is the extraneous solution, all right? So that means this is just not really a solution. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.